This is the first video in a series where I share some secrets for how you can get faster at using Figma. First, we're gonna learn how to duplicate this star really quickly like this. This is something I use all the time across my designs. First, we're going to click on the star. Then we're gonna hold down Option. We're also gonna hold down Shift so that we're dragging in a straight line. Notice how the cursor changed to this duplication icon. Then we're gonna let go of your mouse or your cursor and then let go of your keys. And then you're gonna hit Command D to repeat the transformation. Creating a grid of items becomes really easy as well. Again, we're going to do the option drag while holding on Shift, Command D multiple times. The special thing about this one is that we're going to draw a rectangle like this to select multiple objects. This works really similarly to other tools like Illustrator. So we're gonna go ahead and drag it like this. And then we're gonna do option Shift down drag and then let go of your cursor and then Command D twice. And so that's a really quick way to duplicate quickly. You can also use this technique when you're drawing an interface. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this card down by holding on Option and Shift while dragging. And then I'm gonna do Command D to fill up the page like this. This is a similar technique you can use if you are familiar with auto layout. So right now I have a restaurant's auto layout group and inside there's only one card. I can do Command D on the card itself and it will duplicate within the auto layout group with the spacing I've selected. So currently the restaurants are 16 pixels apart. Finally, a lot of times when I'm iterating on a design, I'll also use the Command D technique to make a copy of my design so I can save it for later. So how I do that is I click the frame to select the frame, do Command D, and notice how it duplicates 40 pixels to the right by default, and I can make whatever changes I want. So for example, if I want this to be a serif instead, then I can see my changes side by side. The next shortcut I want to talk about is paste to replace. This one is really cool. So for example, if I want to replace these squares with the circle, what I would do is I would select the circle first, do command C, and then I would select all my squares by holding on shift while selecting, and then do command shift R to paste to replace. So now I've replaced all the squares with the circle. This also works for groups of elements as well. So I can select this group right here, and then I can do copy, and then select all the elements on the page and do Command Shift R to replace everything with that design I've created. A more practical use case would be if I wanted to replace my wireframe here with a component that I've created, I can go ahead and copy this component here, and then I can select all the rectangles I've added here and do Command Shift R to replace my wireframe with a high fidelity mockup. The last tip I'm gonna share here is how to copy a style over to a different object. So here I have this object with a really dramatic drop shadow and a stroke and a fill. So what I can do is I can select this object and then do Command Option C to copy the style. And then I can do Command V on the rectangle on the right to copy the style over. The cool thing is that you can also copy styles over to anything, so I can copy it onto this text as well. So notice how I've copied the style over. This doesn't look very good, but there are some use cases where this would be cool. Sometimes when I'm iterating, I like to use this on text styles as well. So for example, if I decide that I want to change the font of only the headings here to be a serif, so maybe everything will be IBM Plex serif instead of the IBM Plex sans, what I can do is do Command Option C to copy the style, then I do command shift click to select all the headings on the page. And then I can do command V to change the style across all the headings like this. Here's a summary of the three things you learned. The first one is option shift drag to duplicate. So here I'm doing option shift drag and then command D to duplicate. The second one is paste to replace. So here I'm copying the circle here by doing command C and then I'm selecting these squares here and then do command shift R to replace them with the circle. Finally, we have copy and paste style. So to copy the style, you do command option C, and then you select the object and do command V to paste the style over. Let me know what your favorite Figma shortcuts are in the comments below.